Hey there, Vinny from Project Frugal. In October, November 2014, we installed a three kilowatt solar system. This video is going to show you if it's worth it or if it's a big have. Let's check it out. Hey, thanks for sticking around. So before we get into the facts and figures and all the numbers, let's go and check what it looked like when we first got it installed and what it looks like today. And yes, I don't disagree, those solar panels are absolutely filthy and they definitely need to be cleaned. Must get onto that. When it stops raining, of course, won't be today, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. We'll get onto that. Now, one good thing about these panels, when we got them, yes, we paid 11 grand all up, installed and all the rest of it. They don't actually have an inverter on the side of the house. They're actually micro inverters, which are actually underneath the panels. So if one panel dies, essentially the other 11 should keep functioning. So let's go and have a look at the actual solar panels themselves. I've just logged into our production in phase system and we're going to have a look at the panels here. As you can see today, well today's been a terrible day. It's been very overcast, it's been drizzly, rainy and you can see here down in the corner here this one is not producing much at all. In fact there's a notification that says your system is producing less energy than expected. Contact your maintainer for help. However, you can see here on this corner here, 298 watt hours. This one is impacted by the tree that we've got in the corner, which we're going to have to trim a little bit down. So hopefully it'll generate a little bit more power. So not a great effort. You can see here, if we click over on this screen here, you can see this is the total generation. We can actually scroll up a little bit on this. It's first started recording in November 2014, once the solar system had been installed and hooked up to the grid and all the rest of it. So only 37.4 kilowatt hours produced in November 2014. It's been running for one, two, three, four, five, six, well, roughly eight years now, eight years, 2021, 2022. And the lighter blue represents basically good days or good months rather. So that one almost 500 kilowatt hours in the month of November and you can definitely see winter in New Zealand, uh, well, pretty much May, June, July, August, not good for solar generation. Here's some specs on the actual solar panels themselves. So this is the one we've got. It's Canadian Solar CS6PH-250P Classic 250WP. That's a bit of a mouthful. Anyway, uh, 150 euros, so presumably these are still in stock somewhere around the world. Like I said, these are eight years old so um, this person's got a whole uh, well this particular company's got a whole bunch of them 353 pieces this is what they look like brand new condition and uh, essentially 250 watt solar panels nothing special about those here's the main fuse box on the house we've got a smart meter here we've got a couple of fuses for the solar system over here both currently on and we've got a solar supply main switch Plus we've got some notes about the solar system on here for anyone who's working on this particular fuse box. So we're going to have a look at an electricity bill from March this year. So in New Zealand, March is pretty much the end of summer. This is the bill here. Uh, still cost us $147. Now admittedly, we don't have just all electricity. We've also got gas hot water which is separate to this electricity bill. So that's quite a lot of money actually for electricity in New Zealand at the end of summer, quite a lot. And you can see down here, we've got some little bits of yellow here. That's basically the power export. So we're clearly using more than the three kilowatt system can provide. And you can see here, we exported 98.21 kilowatt hours and the company, in this case, a company called Ecotricity are paying us 0.1106 or 11 cents per kilowatt hour and we made a whopping $10.86 from exporting the power out to the grid. Not a lot of money. 
And here we go, here's the actual numbers since the system is installed. So we've broken it down into every month. Uh, if we start in November 2014, 37 kilowatt hours for the first month and the total for the remainder of 2014, 405 hours. So the following years, 2015, etc., through to 2021, we get a good reading or a good indication of how many hours were actually generated from the system. And you can see here it's starting off at 3,600 hours. Remembering this is a three kilowatt system, dropping down to 3,000 hours last year. Now, part of that is due to lichen, part of that is due to age, part of that is due to dirt on the panels, part of that could be to do with not so flash weather in the area where I live. So, combination of factors, but it's definitely going to go down over time. Now, because we've only just hit the 1st of October, I'm guesstimating based on current numbers or older numbers what the returns will be for the rest of this year. And obviously, the numbers will be slightly lower again. And we've pulled that out to a particular, uh, we've pulled that out to a particular estimate for the year 2844 for the year and for the following years so based on these numbers you can see on here on this uh on this graph here the power output is slowly been dropping and that's our estimate of where it's going to drop to after 15 years producing it should be producing 60 percent of the original power output original power output being 3600 kilowatt hours uh, so far we've produced 26 megawatts of power which is good uh, it's better than nothing. And the average per full year based on the year so far has been 3.2 megawatts per year of electricity. And given a, a rough guesstimate of 30 cents per kilowatt per year, I guesstimate that's almost $1,000 of power that we are generating off 3 kilowatts. So not a lot considering our power bill on average per year is roughly around the three to three and a half thousand dollar mark it could be worse and generation per week well it's not even nineteen dollars this system originally cost eleven thousand dollars to install thanks to kiwi bank they had a buy uh well an incentive scheme that basically put in a couple of thousand dollars over a i think it was a four year yeah it was a four year period so they paid put eight hundred dollars towards it all of this went on the mortgage at the time First year, they uh, at the end of the first year, they'd put $800. They'd give us back $800. The second year, $400. The third year, $400. And the fourth year, $400. So essentially, that reduced the price down to $9,000. But of course, you are paying, well, you're paying the house mortgage interest rates on that, getting that particular loan out as well. So that has some bearing financially on how viable this whole thing is. And based on the numbers here, we can see that it's roughly going to pay for itself in 12 years. It's been on the roof for eight years now. Plus the fact is, now that we've got the solar system on the roof, after 12 years, it'll still be on the roof. Hopefully it's still generating some power. So in theory, it adds value to the house. Well, there you have it. Is it actually worth it? Well, my mind is kind of leaning on the fence, really. It's really 50-50. Yes, it's going to pay itself off in a number of years, i.e. 12 years all up according to my calculations. And then basically after that, it's kind of almost free money, but it's going to be a reduced capacity. So is it worth it? Yeah, I'll give it a six out of 10. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. We'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, hit the bell notification, and we'll see you later.